sun goes down, the Sabbath begins for those of the Jewish faith. And tonight, in addition to worshiping, they'll honor the life of a woman killed in that San Diego synagogue shooting. ABC 4's culture and religion correspondent Andrew Reeser sat down with the local rabbi who this week has taken extra measures to protect his own congregation. A memorial mitzvah for a woman killed in a Jewish synagogue last week in San Diego is starting a conversation among local Jewish congregants about bringing more light into an ever-darkening world. <laughs> Rabbi Abrami Zippel will say this memorial prayer in honor of Lori Kay, the 60-year-old San Diego woman killed while she was practicing her Jewish faith at the end of Passover when a gunman entered her synagogue and opened fire. In Judaism, we believe that the soul is eternal. Zippel is calling all local Jewish women and girls who typically light the Shabbat candles every Friday to light theirs tonight in honor of Kay. For the sake of elevating her soul. It's the latest in several recent attacks on houses of worship in the United States and around the world. Easter Sunday, Christians killed by suicide bombers. In March, a New Zealand mosque attacked and dozens killed. This week, Chabad Lubavitch in Salt Lake City has heightened security with new cameras and door locks. Right now there is talk, in addition to, to arming the front doors, of having an armed guard, you know, openly carrying outside a sign of the times it's remarkably sad that now the concept of synagogue shootings is something which is part of our you know thought process but tonight darkness will be replaced with light we need to tilt the scale the other way you know we need to we need to flood the zone with kindness and love and respect and tolerance in salt lake city andrew reeser abc4 news we want to mention that the lighting of the Shabbat candles at Chabad Lubavitch Synagogue here in Salt Lake City will take place at about 7 o'clock tonight. People of all faiths are invited to attend.